Hi everybody, I'm excited to present today the 7 to 1 gearing ratio mechanism. I challenged myself to try to create a mechanism that would give us a 7 to 1 gearing ratio without using any of the gears that have a multiple 7 teeth. So for example the latest 28 uh, teeth double bevel gear. So here's my solution, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So over here we've got the crank handle, and over here we've got the indicator, and I'll just turn this. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this shows that by turning the handle 7 times, the indicator goes around uh, just once, which gives us that 7 to 1 gear ratio. Just demonstrate it again. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there we go. Isn't that amazing? So you might be wondering, how is this even possible? Um, well, to be honest, it's not. Uh, but I found a very close approximation. So when you normally do the mathematics of working out gear ratios, uh, we've got typically available gear ratios of 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and 5 to 1. So typically if you put together different gearing combinations, it really just comes down to multiplying out numbers of uh, combinations of 2, 3, and 5. So for example, if you put a 2 to 1 together with a 3 to 1, you simply get a 6 to 1 gearing ratio. Uh, now by down gearing, you can also end up dividing. So for example, if you put together a, a 3 with a 2, and then down gear that with a 5, you'll get uh, 6 over 5, which gives you a gear ratio of 1 to 1 to 1.2. Uh, so what I found to create a gearing ratio of 7, uh, I tried playing around with some of these numbers um, and for example you could put together uh, a 3 and a 5 and then divide by 2 and that will give you 15 divided by 2 gives you 7.5. So that already is uh, you know a little bit closer to 7 than uh, anything else and after playing around with these numbers quite a lot uh, what I found is that if I put together a gear ratio of 2 and 3 and another 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 3 and finally one more 3 and then divide that by a gear ratio of 5 by 5 by 5 by 5 we'll put it to get our, our calculator to work this out we have to calculate it, so we've got 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then we divide that by 5 by 5 by 5 by 5, and magically we've got a gearing ratio of 6.9984. Four, which of course is very, very close to 7. So there you go, there's the answer. Alright, so after working out this gearing ratio, it really just came down to uh, building the actual mechanism. So I'll just show you one more time. Uh, so what I've done is from the beginning, we've got our 5 to 1 gearing, uh, 5 to 3. That 5 to 3 goes through a 3 to 1, another 3 to 1. And then a 5 to 3, and then that goes through a 3 to 1, and then another 5 to 3, another 5 to 3, and then finally the 2 to 1 at the end there. And that is what gives us our 7 to 1, or actually 6.9984 uh, gearing mechanism. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please like and subscribe. See you next time.